Steel is an alloy or metallic mix of mainly iron and carbon. As a finished product, its carbon content is between 0.02 and 1.5%. But to start the production process, we need high quality iron ore. Iron ore is common in the Earth's crust and contains iron chemically bonded to oxygen. This is mined in places such as the Americas, Australia and Scandinavia and then shipped around the world to steelworks. Ores are then blended together to produce a favourable mix. This mix is combined with coke and heated to produce the iron-rich material called sinter. Sintering reduces waste and provides an efficient raw material for the blast furnace. Carbon is required for the blast furnace and this is supplied in the form of coke. To make coke, coking coal is heated in an oven. This drives off volatile byproducts and leaves carbon. Gas produced in this process is used as a fuel, whilst other byproducts such as tar and sulphur are extracted and refined. <laughs> These raw materials, sinter, iron ore and coke, meet each other at the blast furnace, where they are fed into the top of the furnace along with some limestone. A hot air blast, from which the furnace gets its name, is injected through nozzles, called tweers, in the base of the furnace. This blast raises the temperature in the furnace to white-hot intensity, around 2,200 degrees centigrade. This very high temperature is needed for the chemical reduction and melting of the sinter and iron ore to form a pool of molten iron in the lower part of the furnace, just above the hearth. The limestone combines with the impurities to form a liquid which floats on top of the molten iron. This is known as slag. The molten iron is tapped from the furnace and the slag skimmed off and taken away for use in other industries, such as road building or cement manufacture. The molten iron we get from a blast furnace, or hot metal as it's known in the industry, isn't pure iron and contains the elements carbon, sulphur, phosphorus, manganese and silicon. To make steel, these elements must be removed or reduced and other elements added, depending on the type of steel being made. The carbon content, at about 4%, makes iron very brittle and unsuitable for rolling or forging. And although iron can be used for castings, most of the iron produced is for processing into steel.